What is up, guys? Dylan Ryan here, bringing you another episode of Dylan's Adventure Craft. Hope you guys are having a mind-tastic day today. I am having a great day. So, we are over here at the Nether Warp Farm, and it is all grown up. Except for this little piece over here, because I had to grab a little extra to brew some potions. So, I think we should go ahead and give this a little wash down here. And just watch this go together. I love this. This works so freaking well. We do get some stuck every once in a while. I had one get stuck like right there. But if we're only losing one out of like over 300 different spaces for the nether wart, then I am not worried about that whatsoever. But we're going to run down here and grab these nether warts and see what we got. We will have to fill that back in. And I'll do that here in just one second. So let's go ahead and see what we got here. They sometimes, yeah, get a little backed up, but that is all right. Let's see what we got. All right. Good bit, good bit. I love getting the nether warts because we need these for so many different things right now. We need these for like the nether and I've got some upcoming projects that we're going to need these for. So that is awesome. I'm glad that we can come in here and collect a whole bunch of these. So we need to keep, I believe it is four stacks and 49 if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure. I will figure that out. But let me get all this put back and then I've got some stuff planned for us today in this episode that should be really, really fun. All right, to get the episode started off here with our first project, I would like to go over to our map making area and make a map poster for the tropical fish, puffer fish, cod, and salmon for Animal Paradise. I've got to get over here and grab some of this wool. I have planned out what these are going to look like. They don't look exactly like the pixel art for the fish, but I did the best that I could because there is only so many colors and the color of the block that you use does change with the map. I'm sure you guys already know that, but I'm going to go ahead and grab the stuff that I need here and then head over to the map making area, get that done, and then we will check it out once I finish. All right, there we go. We got it done. I think it looks pretty dang good if you ask me. Now, like I said, some of the uh, salmon colors, so like the dark green right here, we didn't have exactly the correct color to match that up. The same way with the cod, we needed like one or two more shades of brown, but we didn't have that. The tropical fish, we needed one more shade of orange, but we didn't have that. And then with the puffer fish, the puffer fish looks a little derpy, but that's because this puffer fish is 14 long. And if you look at a pixelated version, I believe it is actually 16. But if I wanted to fit it in there and make it actually look decent, then I had to get rid of a few lines of pixels. So there's supposed to be like one line of pixel through here and then like one more line of pixel through here or maybe maybe it was 15 and there's only one right here. So I had to take one of those lines out and kind of scoot everything over. But I think it actually turned out to look pretty good. You can definitely tell it is a puffer fish. Then obviously the name. So we got salmon, cod, puffer fish, and tropical fish. The only issues with those was right here we had to put an extra space so that it kind of fit even though pufferfish is one word. I do know how to spell pufferfish. Stop making fun of me. And then with the tropical fish, obviously the S down here, we had to do something a little funky because it was only four tall, but you can still definitely see that that says fish. But there we go. We will give a fly around, and I think I put some maps in here somewhere. Yes, I put them in the episodes project shulker box. All right. So a little fly on up here, and there we go. I think it is looking really, really cool. So we are going to be putting that in over at Animal Paradise here in a little bit. But first off, before we do that, I found an issue with one of our farms, and I think that we should probably address that pretty soon because we're probably going to need some of the resources from it here in the near future. The farm that I'm talking about is the squid farm over here, and... What we're having an issue with is there's really not any squid spawning. 
So, I don't know exactly what's going on. There must be something wrong with the farm. Maybe we need to make a new farm. I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to go back through and fill in these holes that I have made. And I guess we will just worry about this at a later date. So, in between episodes, I have been working on putting in the rest of the nether portals that we need for the world download. I don't think we're going to get the designs done. I haven't really worked on those. That just takes forever. But, I have added in a spot for the villager trading hall. I have the new creeper farm and the library and the mini farms so we do have some more accesses now so the villager trading hall is actually really really far down that way and then the creeper farm isn't that bad it's on down you got to take a left and then it's in a new section over there and then we have the mini farms and the library which aren't that far away they are actually right here so you've got this is the library, I believe. Yep, we got the library here. And then the mini farms are right over here. So I'll have to get the decoration done for these. And we also need to put in some lodestones and stuff like that. But the other two that definitely need to be done, I think there's only really two more that definitely need to be done. And that is Animal Paradise and Steampunk City, and those are super, super far away. So we're definitely not getting the design done for those. But what I would like to try to do is get the design done for the library and for the mini farms, since they're not that far. And I would like to set up kind of like what we did here for Animal Paradise. And then once we get over to Animal Paradise, we can also put in the new map for the fish. So let's start working on the ice boat road for the mini farms and the library. So we got about halfway done. We are actually running low on materials again, so I'm gonna have to go get some more materials. We've got this little stretch here to the library, and then we've got this stretch here to the mini farms. So not too much to go there, but I think we are going to go ahead and move on like I said, I would like to try to get a path to Animal Paradise, and that way we can uh, have an easier route to get there, and we can also go over there and put up our map. So I think what I want to do is take some cobblestone. That's what I was doing in between episodes, just in case a gas hit me and uh, it won't blow up the nether rack. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a bunch of this, and then we are going to head to negative 1850 and negative 415. So pretty far distance. Um, looks like we're going to have to go a lot that way, and then I think this way? Yeah, that way and this way. So we'll probably take one of the paths that we've already got made down here, and then we will just cut to the left and start going that way and try to get at least Animal Paradise up today, and then we can start working on the stuff we needed to at Animal Paradise. All right, so we've got the path to Animal Paradise all finished. This is awesome. It actually did not take me as long as I thought it would. I've got Villager Trading Hall here because previously that was the only thing down this way, but we will change this later on. So let's go ahead and fly. Yeah, fly because it takes a while to get down here. Hopefully I don't end up busting my face on something and dying. So right here on this cobblestone, you see negative 1850, negative 415. So there we go. Awesome. So I am going to put the portal up here, but I don't think we're going to light it just yet because I don't want to like mess anything up. Um, I don't want it to link up weird with the other one that we have. So let's go ahead and grab this and we're going to need a sign, one of these red dyes, a glow ink sack and some obsidian. So we'll go ahead and put this down here. It's gonna go just like this. And then it's gonna be one, two, three tall. And then we'll bring it across like so. And there we go. And then we'll stick a sign right here and put Animal Paradise. There we go. And then we will put on the red dye and the glow ink sack and perfect. All right, so I need to go fix a couple other signs. But besides that, I think we are done in the nether here, and I will be meeting you guys at Animal Paradise. Well guys, I thought I was recording there, but I guess I was not. So what we did here is we 
kind of made this a little bit bigger, moved these this way originally, they connected here, then we put some more quartz bricks down, and then we put a lectern here, item frame, and the map right there. I wanted to put one at the beginning as well. We'll come back and put the book in here in a moment. Then for the puffer fish, we put one right here. For the salmon, we put one over here. There really wasn't the best spot for it. Um, yeah, I guess that's about as good as it's going to get there. For the tropical fish, we've got one over here. Then over here, we are putting one for the cod. There we go. Perfect. All right, and then like I said, I think I'm going to put one in here somewhere. I think we'll do it on the outside here. We'll just put it right here. And I need another item frame. So I should have an item frame in here somewhere. Throw that there. And the last map will go right there. Perfect. All right, so now I need to go work on the books for these and uh, get all of those wrote up and signed. And then we can come back and take a look at those. Awesome. There we go. So I've got the books done here. And actually, I have decided that I'm not going to do these since this is kind of just showing all of the fish. So I can't, I don't really want to put four books there, right? So I'm going to take this down and let's see if we can't put it like right here. Yeah, there we go. I like that a lot better. That's cool. Okay. So let's go into here. So we've got a few different ones. So we will start off with the salmon. So here we go. So I'm probably just going to flip through these, let you guys look at them be since we've got four of them and there is a lot here. So I'll just flip through those, let you guys look at those. You can pause if you need to. I'll go ahead and grab these. What we got over here? Puffer fish. All right. Puffer fish. So here we go. This is some of the facts and some of the information on them. Some of these, I had a hard time finding some of the information. I guess I need to uh, look at what this book is, don't I? Yeah, that's Tropical Fish. All right, let's put that back down. All right, here we go. And this is the stuff for the Tropical Fish. And then last but not least, we have the cod. So here is the cod. And there you go. Kind of short on the cod but that is all right and then we're going to take this away and do the same thing that we did on the other one so i think did i put it right here i feel like that's going to be in the way of your head right and then this is going to cover up that coral it may not be that bad i kind of like it there we go so we've got those up and we've got the books in there that is absolutely awesome so now we need to go work on something else. We're actually leaving Animal Paradise for today. We need to go back over to the inn to finish up something that we haven't finished just yet. All right, guys. So we are moving on to the next thing now. And the next thing that I want to do for this episode is we need to work on this right here. This is the entrance to the tunnel for our Enderman farm or XP farm, the Ender 2.0, as you can see here. I do have a design for this that I want to use, but we need some endstone, and I don't have any endstone. All right, there we go. So I did clear out a little bit of a spot here, but what we need to do is actually bring this up. I did get like nine stacks, and this is a little bit left over here from clearing that up right there. But we need to kind of bring this this way a little bit more because the structure we're building has to be right here because we've already put the elevators in and the structure's a, a little bit bigger than this. So I need to build this out a little bit more and then we can actually start on the structure itself. All right, but there we go. So out of those stacks that I had, I have this, but I actually had to go back and get 14 more stacks. So I had a big portion to fill in, but we got it all done now. Everything is looking great. So now we can move on to building the entrance to the Ender 2.0. And it is complete. I think it looks really good. So let's take a look at this. So here we go. This is the entrance to the tunnel here. So I worked on this design for a little bit. The only thing that I don't really care for that much is kind of the back in this spot right here. 
but I didn't want you to be able to actually see the tunnel itself, so I made it like that. But I thought it was kind of cool to put some water around this, just as kind of like a moat looking thing. I think that is pretty cool. Then we got some sea lanterns down there, and I built this first and didn't have these stairs here, and it just didn't look right. It didn't look like it had good structure. So I put the stairs here. We've got some purple concrete underneath it, and it adds a little bit more color and also more texture and structure structure and then we've got this on the back just a little simple design there with some sea lanterns also for some extra lighting and then we've got the walkway here so underneath the carpets we've got some sea lanterns then we're using the and we're using the tile deep slate walls here with some white stained glass panes and it kind of just borders this in i think that looks really good then we have two steps up here and then we're kind of going with the same design that we went with on the tunnel down at the bottom and i did put the tiled deep slate stairs one block out i think that looks a little better it kind of looks like it gives it an overhang i think that looks cool and then obviously like i said we're using the same thing we're using the smooth sandstone stairs here and the sea lanterns continue on through here and then we got one of our little designs that we also use down in the tunnel and then we've also got some carpets going around here just to kind of border it in along with some carpets here and some sea lanterns underneath that and sea lanterns in the back and i really kind of like this chiseled deep slate here i think that looks kind of cool it kind of looks like a shulker box and i think that's what it's supposed to look like and then i put an ender chest here we're probably going to add in some more stuff i guess we could do that really quick here i should have some stuff in here so let's put in a crafting table we can put in a furnace and we can also put in a blast furnace i don't really know if that's going to be used or not but we can still do it because i think it will work out perfectly fine and then we'll throw the stair right there so the inner chest can still open and then we'll just put one here to make it look uniform then we'll throw these down and i guess we should also probably get some coal yeah we do have some coal so that is pretty cool there i guess we can just split this up it's really not that big of a deal and then we'll just put a full stack of coal in there so we'll probably never even run through that but there we go we got that but it looks really really good i really like this i really like the color scheme we've got the black purple and white and then this little off-white color along with the nether bricks up at the top awesome really really productive episode today in between episodes i will be working on the nether some more and getting that other portal up for steampunk city so that you guys can get over there and i'll probably work on the tunnel designs as well but we got a good bit done we got the entrance to the ender 2.0 tunnel done and it looks really really good we got the maps and the books made for the fish over in animal paradise and i also went mining in between episodes which actually let's go fortune those diamonds and see how many we get all right so i did break a little bit of them to leave some diamonds over at the ender 2.0 in case we needed to make any tools but i did also fortune the diamonds we had and it looks like we've got what is that three stacks and 34 so not not terrible not terrible but we do need 41 stacks to finish the treasure room so let's go ahead and get all of these down and actually let's do this a different way let's go ahead and put these in the offhand just like this and then we'll just break them by holding up both the left and right click and see how many we get so hopefully we get a good bit and I will probably be doing this more in between episodes as well. I found that finding diamonds is a lot easier when you find the ravines or you find the big open caves underground near the deep slate. That seems to be the spot for them. And you can also mine at negative 48 and use like a water bucket to mine in just a one by one area. And that seems to work really well also. All right, so let's go ahead and put these into here. And it looks like we've got five stacks and seven diamonds not bad at all i like that it's looking really really good and like i said i will continue on with this so that we can get as much as we possibly can to be able to finish up the treasure room but guys like i said that is going to do it for this episode i really do hope you enjoyed if you did please just hit that like button subscribe if you're new and hit that notification bell so you get notified when i put out another 
video. <laughs> That's going to do it, guys, and I will see you in the next episode. This has been Dylan Ryan, and I am out.